What's up guys, I'm Alan with Edge Autosport and today I want to talk about upgrading the fuel system on your Focus ST. So you've been driving around in your 360, 370 horsepower big turbo Focus ST for a little while now and you're asking yourself, how can I get a little bit more fuel? Well today I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's talk about option one first. Ox fuel, at least that's what it's commonly referred to because you're adding auxiliary fuel injectors, ox fuel. Now, this uh, was one of the first solutions for getting more fuel for the Focus ST. You have an option to do two injectors in the spacer between the throttle body and the intake manifold, but this one here adds four injectors in a spacer between the intake manifold and the head. This is the preferred option for ox fuel because you get more even fuel distribution as you're injecting right down onto the valves rather than into the intake manifold plenum where it then has to mix with the air and then go up through the, up into the cylinder head. So this is uh, the preferred method. It's gonna be a little bit more reliable and it's capable of taking you a bit further. Now, the way the XDI fuel system works over here, you have your upgraded high pressure fuel pump and you have your upgraded injectors. They bolt on, they plug in, you receive a tune file through your access port that you flash to your, flash to your car and then you go drive, you get logs and everything's controlled through the ECU the same way that the factory controls the injectors and fuel pump. And so it is inherently a lot less complicated as far as the install is concerned and as far as tuning is concerned. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of these systems. We'll start again with the ox fuel. The biggest pro for the ox fuel system is that you you pretty much don't have a fuel system limit anymore when you go this route. Uh, the limit becomes what turbo you have, what low pressure fuel pump you have, and what injectors are in the rail, all of which can be changed or upgraded if you wanna go more. You're not gonna really be limited to how much fuel you can get with this if you have the proper setup to get more fuel. Whereas the direct injected system is going to have a much higher limit than stock, but it will still be limited because you can't get bigger injectors, you can't get a bigger fuel pump than this. So once you hit the max of this, you are at the max. The other pro to this is the valve cleaning. That is something that you see talked about a lot. You have uh, these injectors that are spraying directly down onto your intake valves. And as any of you that have had DI cars for a while know, your intake valves get incredibly dirty uh, running just this direct injection system. These are gonna help clean your intake valves, especially if you're running an ethanol blend or full ethanol, it's gonna really keep those valves clean. That is a big pro. The other pro is the price point on this is a little cheaper than your XDI setup. Uh, this particular kit is between fourteen and sixteen hundred dollars, and it is uh, obviously, like I said, provides a substantial increase in fuel and isn't as limited as the XDI setup. The and price point pro goes to the ox fuel kit. Now, the cons for ox fuel are the complexity of install and the potential reliability issues down the road. Like I mentioned with how this gets installed, you have these little clips here, and th these kinds of things will work right out of the gate. They'll work for some time, but it, it's kind of the gremlin waiting to happen uh, when this fails, if it fails, if it gets corroded, you're gonna have problems, and you're not gonna know that you've had problems until your internals become your externals, and then it's too late. So that's one of the scary things about Oxfuel is that if you do have an electrical gremlin, which tapping into your factory wiring harness can create electrical gremlins, you won't know it until it's too late and you could cause some serious damage to your engine. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the XDI setup. The biggest pro for this is ease of install and ease of tuning. Like I said, it is direct bolt on. You take your factory fuel pump off, you bolt this on, you plug it in. You take your factory fuel injectors off, you bolt these on, you plug them in. Then you get a tune, then you go drive. And the tuning part is also easy. So for, for my side of the table, tuning these is a cinch. I simply send you a map with the injector data plugged in. I send you a map with the pump data plugged in 
and you're pretty much good to go. You can drive on it like that, no problems, and then we can turn it up and make power. Whereas with this setup, I do charge extra for tuning aux fuel because there's added complication. You're having to tune a separate ECU and you're having to make this work with the factory ECU and like I said before, without any communication between the two. Whereas this is all controlled through the factory ECU. Just because this is cheaper doesn't necessarily mean it's better for you. And that is a that is the misconception that I see all the time is that, oh, it's cheaper, uh, you can make the same, or you make more power, it's better. Um, and that may be true for some people, uh, people who have the turbos to expose the need for more fuel. Uh, but for some people who just wanna bolt something on, get a new tune file, and then be able to go drive the car and not have to worry, the pump is going to be the better option. Even though it's more expensive and has a lower ceiling, uh, the reliability, the ease of install is, is way higher. And so you just kinda have to figure out what's better for you. Um, the other thing with ox fuel setups is uh, most of the people that I see asking these questions are running turbos that are never going to need to max one of these out. Uh, most people are running turbos that this will take all the way to the max of what that turbo can do. And then if you upgrade the turbo down the road and you want to get even more out of it, then you can add the injectors later as well uh, and get further. Uh, this combo uh, with the pump and injectors is going to be good to around 500 wheel horsepower tops, I would imagine. I haven't really tuned any XDI setups higher than that. Uh, I've tuned a handful of Focus RSs that are making about 500 horsepower with XDI pump and injectors. Uh, Focus STs, most of the guys that I've tuned have turbos that are limiting them to around 450 to 480 horsepower. So uh, I haven't really got to push one of these setups super high, but from what I've seen, uh, you're probably not going to get much further than that anyways, uh, depending on what kind of ethanol blend you're running. Every build is a little different. So if you still need help deciding, you can shoot me an email to tuning at edgeautosport.com and I'd be happy to help answer more of your questions. But basically, this is your budget, comfortable with wiring, okay with a more complicated install and paying more for your tune. Or if you're built motor and you need the fuel because you have a bigger turbo setup and you're going past 500 horsepower, then this is what you're gonna need to get. Simpler streetcar. You don't have the turbo set up to do over 500 horsepower. You don't want a complicated install. You just want to bolt something on and go run. Then this is going to be the better option. For instance, with our two shop cars, we have the PowerMax powered half send sitting behind me, and we installed the XDI Evo fuel pump on that. We're running fully 85. We're maxing out the PowerMax turbo, and that's it. Like we don't need the added complication and honestly the price is the same as far as in, as far as parts are concerned because that pump 1600 bucks this kit plus the tune is over 1600 dollars so the price is the same you just have more complication with our PowerMax turbo we're able to run full 85 with just the pump and get the most out of everything so in that case you don't need to go with the added complication because the price points the same now we are going to upgrade the turbo on half send and we are going to be making more power and in order to keep the power up we'll bring the ethanol blend down and run just the pump and then when we get to the point that we need more fuel still then we can upgrade to the uh, xdi injectors and we'll be able to continue making more power i for half send it is a weekend warrior kind of car that we're going to take to the track and so not having extra fuel lines and electronics on a road course car is kind of important to us. And so that's why we liked the more reliable nature of the XDI setup, because we don't have to worry about things jiggling loose. We don't have to worry about heat stressing the, the added wires. Uh, we can just plug these in and go. For our full SIN car over here, we don't really have an option. We have to run the four port aux fuel because that car made 637 horsepower the last time we had it on the dyno and uh, it runs uh, it traps 130 plus miles an hour in the quarter mile and we in order to make that kind of power we can't do it with the xdi setup we have to have uh, the port injection setup so 
that's where the decision is made really is like basically what you need um, and price does factor into that for some people and I definitely understand that uh, but uh, when you factor in all the added cost of tuning the price isn't that big of a difference anyways anyways I hope you guys like this video the purpose of these videos is to help you guys make informed decisions about the parts that you buy I don't want to be the one that decides for you but I would like you to have the information in order to make the decision for yourself but if you're still on the fence, you're unsure, you can give us a call to our support line and we'll be happy to walk you through whatever you're unsure about. Be sure and subscribe to the channel because you are not gonna wanna miss the notifications for the next video where I show you how to use the R4 software that controls split second controller. A lot of guys ask about that. I'm gonna show you how. Until next time, we'll catch you later.